Oh. <laughs> Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life can open a new bud and cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams go, life is a warm field from the snow. Life is If you've ever longed to see the world beyond America, Study Abroad is for you. Study Abroad programs allow students to further their collegiate studies on international campuses in Scotland, Japan, Russia, and many more nations across the world. Study Abroad builds a student's understanding of and competency in other cultures, helping to create a worldwide community and prepare you for success in a globalized marketplace. Students can earn 6 to 12 credit hours in upper and lower division classes for multiple majors while having access to the unique history of Scotland or witnessing the Parisian skyline at dawn. It's an experience that expands their minds to the world around them. The courses are as rigorous as any college semester, but students will gain knowledge no American institution could offer, such as understanding what this is in Berlin, what this English food tastes like, how it feels to walk across this, why this is important to the Irish, and what exactly this man is doing in Madrid. Study abroad is also designed with your convenience in mind. Students can choose program durations from two weeks to one semester, including summer programs. Many students and parents are hesitant over the program's cost, language barriers, and international travel risks. However, to prepare for your trip, study abroad program directors and the Office of International Programs have resources to help guide you through every question and planning stage to help ensure a successful experience. MGA study abroad programs are designed for maximum accessibility. They're financial aid and scholarship eligible, and foreign language experience is not required. Study abroad students can speak firsthand to the value of these experiences. For me, the best part was going to sit in these same places where famous authors had composed. Honestly, the program was extremely smooth. Um, I use financial aid personally, and my financial aid process was extremely easy. Uh, it's contact with the financial aid office. They helped me through each step, and the airport travel was completely easy. How they taught was very different. There were more, um, like the classes that I took, they were um, I don't know how you'd say it. They were more passionate about what they spoke about because um, they either lived through it or they seen like the repercussions coming from it, um, especially the history courses. I think the most interesting thing was uh, the instructors usually plan like an event or two for you to experience as a group. And the one we went to was uh, called Kaylee dancing. And it's this weird kind of dancing. No one knows how to do it, even local Scots. And our uh, instructors actually made every single person go and dance. And you're out there in this little tiny room dancing with these sweaty Scots and kilts and they're all drunk. And it was so much fun. And it was something that you can't experience unless you're actually like there. Like you have to go and do it. The architecture is way different. Uh, and the fact that you can t literally take a train to a castle is insane because their, their culture and their history is so much older than ours. It's really, really amazing to see these castles that have been there longer than our country has even existed. The transportation is so different. Of course, they drive on the other side of the road, but in regards to just, I look at metropolitan areas here in America compared to London, and in metropolitan areas here, you know, the traffic is jammed, and it's kind of, you know, people are angry all the time, but London has a flow. And it's very busy there just as well, but everyone has a flow. Everyone works together. People aren't as rude. Um, they're not friendly, but they're not rude. <laughs> By interviewing, I think it was probably three people, you really see how they view their country. And I feel like just being able to kind of get out and just not staying in close stuff in my room really helped, helped me to just kind of, kind of, immerse myself in their culture and in the city and not miss home as much. Um, when I would try to talk to people, they would understand that I was trying to speak, so they wouldn't like speak normally like they would to someone who was fluent in Russian. They would like slow it down and um, be like, okay, well I know what that is, I know what that is, and I would still ask questions, but they were also really eager to learn English, so it was kind of like we were gaining from each other. 
you have to see a soccer game. You have to. It's a must. Uh, the experience is something that you just can't describe. Uh, I've been to plenty of soccer games here in America, but it's completely different. The passion there is incredible. I went to about six in a month, so it was a fantastic experience. One event uh, is, is probably just going to these historical sites. Um, there are castles everywhere, and then going to these castles like um, the Linlithgow Palace, uh, which is where Mary Queen of Scots was born, and just touching the castle. And it's, it's almost like you're touching history. And for someone who's as big as a history buff as I am, it's, it's, that was my, was my main thing, and I loved, and I will remember until the day I die. We, we learned so much just, just being there, being on site, being just in the environment that you're learning about. It's like, hey, this took place right where we're standing. And you just, you learn so much. And I honestly didn't want to leave. So. I have become a better person, I feel like. I learned so much while I was over there. I definitely got the travel bug. I want to go all over the world now, more than I ever have in my entire life. It's an opportunity for you to step out of a comfort zone that you have within the United States, within Georgia, and just experiencing something else that is completely different than what we're normally used to. Uh, whether it be cultures or language barriers, whatnot, like, just do it. I highly encourage you to take advantage of the different areas there. Go to the London Eye. Go see Big Ben. Go to any theater because you're going to be happy you went. And I went to countless ones. Get lost in the city and find your way back. I promise you, you will. Technology will allow it. <laughs> hey, Dr. Mann. With college credit, international knowledge, solutions to travel concerns, and incredible experiences awaiting you, study abroad programs offer a chance at a once-in-a-lifetime experience. For more information, visit the Study Abroad page at mga.edu international to begin discovering the world beyond you.